Hey guys, it's Becky. I am back with another process video. Today I am going to be using a Paige Evans collection. Actually, I'm just going to be using this one paper. As you can see right there, I'd already fussy cut out a whole bunch of these birds. Here I'm going to go ahead and cut out two more strips. And voila, there you are. I, as for my background, I am using a basil cardstock. It's textured on one side and smooth on the other. I am going to be using the smooth side of this cardstock. And right here, I'm just going to be putting these birds down in such a way that they're flying, right? So up toward the right hand side or over toward the right hand side, they kind of thin out. And then over to the left hand side, I'm grouping them together quite a bit, kind of like they're just this flock of birds, right? And when they're flying out, they spread apart a little bit. That's kind of what I'm going for. I don't know if I achieved it or not. In the end, I do like this layout, but here in the South, it's kind of one of those things where if you saw this layout, you might say, hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> it's kind of like one of those layouts. I like it, but it's not going to be for everybody. So right there you can see is where my title is going to be. It's called Flying the Coop. And I use the Cal Barteski font for flying in coop. And then the V the is with some Ellie Studio stickers. I'm not sure if I show you those, those or not. I am going to go ahead and wipe all those birds off after I done took the time to put them, back, to put them down there so I can put the title down. And then I'm going to put the birds back on. Yeah, here I am going to show you the alphas that I used. So this layout, my son recently moved. Okay, first of all, I need to pardon this. If you can hear the snuffling, that is my dog. She doesn't usually stay in my room with me when I'm doing voiceovers. But, you know, since she had that stroke, which thank you everybody for all your good wishes. She, she is doing a lot better, but... For some reason, she snuffles now when she breathes. It's it's crazy. So I don't know what's going on with that, but she's good. She's good. Anyways, so this is going to be a layout about my son, and he had moved to Arizona. And this was just a few weeks ago. When did I date this? January 21st. January 22nd is when he left Georgia. And so I called this Flying the Coop. Now, this is not the first time he's moved away from home and he's 24. I mean, he's been out of the house. He moved out years ago, but this is the first time that he's moved away from me, like so far away from me. I can't get to him if he needs me. I can't have him here if I need him. You know, this is the first time that there has been that kind of distance. So I just called it flying the coop. Now I've been doing this really weird thing lately. I have not been taking photos like I used to. And I don't, I don't know why. I have no idea, but for some reason I have gotten out of the habit. So all the photos I have of this day he came to see me before he left, they're terrible. I mean, really bad. And in fact, these were all snapped like five minutes before he left the house. He's in the garage getting a drink out of the fridge. And then he walks out to his car. And I'm just snapping. What? <laughs> What, what is wrong with me? I don't know why I did that, but I did. So anyways, so when I printed them, I printed them really small. These are smaller than one inch squares. I mean, these are small. Some of them might be one inch, but most of them I trimmed up to be less than one inch. And I do just tuck those little pictures around the page underneath some of the birds. They just kind of tuck in there. So over on the left hand side, I did kind of fill in the birds, like I said, a little bit more because I wanted them grouped and going out like spraying out. So being thinner. You can see over on the right hand side, I have two seven, 2017 laying out. I really did put that down. <laughs> but during this video, I'm going to pull that seven up and be like, it is not 2017. Is anybody else still having this problem? still thinking it's 2017 it is not it is not people it is 2018 I'm gonna go ahead and stick down the bits that are hanging off this side I'm gonna stick those down really good all right guys so when I'm doing this voiceover it is February 6th and this is not going to go up till February 21st so I'm doing this a little bit in advance but today 
I got the news when my surgery would be, and it is going to be on February 14th, Valentine's Day. It's really funny because the last, doc well, actually, the last two doctor's appointments I've had, I said, I don't want my surgery to be on Valentine's Day. I don't want my surgery to be on Valentine's Day. My surgery is going to be on Valentine's Day. So when this goes up, I should be one week post-op and hopefully everything went great. I, I will probably try and fit in a video that's just like an update after that time. So this might be, you might not even care what I'm saying right now, right? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know how I'm going to be feeling. Right here, I did pull out those stickers that are from Paige Evans. And up there at the top, I put, put Fresh Start. Those are kind of... Um, a gold-ish copper foil and then I also put down a whole bunch of little stars now I accidentally ordered two of these sticker sheets yes I did and I did do a haul on it so you would have saw that I made that big faux pas so the good thing is I had extra stars to put down but that's pretty much it over here on the bottom I put moving on here I thought I was going to pull out this sheet. I don't even know why, but I went ahead and put it back. I am going to end up pulling out some sequins. These ones right here are from Cocoa Vanilla, and they are yellow. And then I'm going to pull out these orange ones from Spiegel Mom Scraps. And I do lay those down. And nope. I don't end up keeping those, and I'll tell you why. I did put this yellow one up at the top. And I set an orange one down beside it, and it looked like a candy corn. And I was immediately, like, really turned off. I am going to go and put some more down because I might like it, right, in the end. Nope. I'm going to end up pulling them off, and I'm going to trade those out for some small black ones that are from Lilac. 28th and Lilac. Lilac Lane. Not sure what it's called. That's horrible of me. I apologize, but I am going to pull out some small ones and I do use a couple big one big black ones as well like three that pack I got from 28 Lilac Wayne. They had small black and they had big black So I'm going to use a few big black ones, but most of the ones are going to be small It just scattered in around there I do have this big white space up at the top and this big white space down at the bottom and I know that really Kind of drives some people nuts, but I like it. I just like to have the airiness and I especially like it with these birds because they can fly even more right they have room to spread their wings a little bit all right so right here you can see I had already wrote down my journaling I did that off camera and here I took out the Heidi Swap color shine in black and I am gonna give that a splatter around the page I am gonna add a couple more words handwritten words over on the right hand side under a bird and I was just saying when these photos were taken so the journaling is really on the left and then I just talk about when these photos were taken over on the right hand side all right guys after I do that I do not do anything else to this layout I want to thank you so much for joining me please like comment and subscribe and I will see you next time bye guys